Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we will discuss the scope of variables in JavaScript. So in the last few videos we came across variables present in JavaScript. We came across functions in JavaScript. If you haven't checked out those videos yet, please have a look. So before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update on programming videos. So without any further ado, Let's get started. We already know that JavaScript is a loosely typed scripting language, right? That means we don't need to specify the data types every time. So a variable is basically a container that can store data values. Those values can be changed whenever needed. In this particular video, we are going to discuss the scope of variables in JavaScript. So what does this scope mean in variables? So scope refers to the life of a variable in a program. There are basically two types of variables present in JavaScript, local variables and global variables. Depending upon where we are creating a variable, a variable may have two different types of scope. So let's have a look at these two different types of variables with the help of examples. Let's say we are creating a variable here. Let's say we are creating a variable where a and the value of a will be 5. So we have created a variable here and let's print the value of this variable in the browser. So what we'll do, we'll print this value in the browser. So let's print the value of this variable on the browser. So here we have printed the value of variable a. So here you can see the value is 5. So we can print the value of this variable anytime and anywhere in our program, right? So if we try to copy this line from here and we'll paste it somewhere else in a program, let's say we are pasting it here. So if we try to save it now, see, here you can see that we have two values of a because we have printed a twice here, right? Once we have used this a here, then we have used this a here. So here you can see we have two values of a, 5 and 5. So this variable a is a global variable, which means its life is available throughout the entire program or the entire script we can say. And when we declare a variable inside a function, that variable is known as a local variable for that function. So let's try to do it as well. We already know what functions are as we saw in the previous video, right? So what we'll do, we'll make a function here. Let's say we are creating a function, function, my function. Opening and closing round bracket and the body of the function, right? So let's declare a variable here. Let's say we are using a variable where x and the value of x will be 10, right? Let's try to print this value. So we have created a function here. Now we are left with the function call only. So let's call the function here. What we'll do, we'll call my function, right? Save it. And now here you can see the output is 10, 5 and 5. So if we comment these three lines, if we remove these three lines, and we'll save it now. So here you can see we have the output as 10 only. So this variable x, which is declared inside a function. So why it is a local variable? Because if we try to access this variable from outside the function, it is not possible. So let's cut this line from here and let's try to paste it here. So now what we are doing is we are trying to access this variable from outside the function. Let's save it now. Let's save this program now and see that there's no output in the browser because a local variable can be accessed only in that function. We can't access it from outside of the function. So this is happening because as soon as the function is executed, the variable gets destroyed means there is no variable present in the memory now. The same thing applies to the memory. Whenever we run a JavaScript program, the whole browser is present in the RAM or we can say in the memory. So these local variables are created only till the function is executing. Once the function is done running, the same function wipes out of the memory. Whereas the case is different for global variables. So global variables are available throughout the script. They have a global lifetime, which means that they will exist throughout the programs running. Or we can say until the tab is open. The next exciting thing about global variables is that we can access global variables from inside the function. So what we will do, let's cut this line from here and we'll paste it here. So now what we'll do, we'll 
declare a variable here let's say we are declaring a variable where y and the value of y will be 15 so copy this line and paste it again now what we'll do we'll try to access y from inside the function so let's save the program and see the output here is 10 and 15 10 is the value of x and x is a local variable for function my function because we have declared x inside the function whereas variable y is a global variable we have declared it outside the function and we tried to access it from inside of the function right so we tried to access y here and we can see the value of y is 15 which is printed on the browser this is what global variables are one more exciting thing I want to mention at the end of this video is if we declare any variable in JavaScript without using the where keyword. So if we try to declare a variable here, let's say we are declaring where one. Okay, we have not used any where keyword. So what we are doing is we are declaring a variable and the value of where one is 15. So we don't need the where keyword separately when we are declaring a variable. However, some of the newer versions of web browser have some sort of issue if we try to declare a variable inside this function without using the where keyword. So let's try to access this variable. Let's try to access, let's declare it inside the function. Okay, what we'll do is we'll declare this variable inside the function and we'll comment this line and what we'll do is we'll try to access it from outside the function, right? What we'll do is we'll write here where one save this and see if you don't understand it let me change the value of where one let's change this value to 20 save it now and see the output here is 10 and 20 so where one is a variable which is declared without using the where keyword right so we can access this variable from outside the function as well any variable which is declared without using where keyword is a global variable keep this thing in mind guys so hope you guys got this so that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through strings in JavaScript. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, comment your doubts below and subscribe to Simply Code. Thank you.